Hello my rowers. Okay, we're upstairs for this uh, third uh, mineral video. And this is a uh, amethyst geode. Uh, so this would originate in a essentially a, a, uh, a big air bubble in a lava field. So the way I understand it is the lava is flowing across the ground. It's heating up the ground it's flowing over. Any water uh, would then vaporize into steam and the steam would want to rise. So then it creates these uh, oblong, if that is the correct wording, uh, voids within the lava flow and then as the years go by the uh, groundwater filters down through the lava flow fills these voids but they bring with them minerals and then as the water slowly evaporates off the super concentrated minerals then precipitate out into the interior of this void and uh, this is one half of uh, the geo. Now this came from uh, Minas Gerais in Brazil. It is uh, 35.1 kilos, which is about 78 pounds. And uh, just to give you a, an idea, I'm it's looking blue on my monitor, but it is a nice uh, amethyst color. And uh, that gives you an idea. And usually, from what I am told, digging out one of these is very difficult as the rock that surrounds these voids are quite hard. So uh, getting them out intact is usually a bit of a, a chore. So there you go, that's my largest and weightiest mineral specimen. Now, over by the door, we've got two other ones. Now this is actually upside down. So this would be the top of one of the voids that we were just looking at, one of the, the well, I wouldn't call it a vug, but the uh, the space. But this has very nice, deep uh, purple crystals, and this is also from uh, a Brazilian origin, Brazilian amethyst. And then I've got another one over here on the other side of the door, and. Uh, it has a uh, couple of calcite crystals inside it as well. And I'll try and get a, a lighted shot down the uh, down it. It's got some other little uh, crystals inside it as well, some other little bits of minerals. But it's the very a very pale uh, purple, more of a, a, a light violet color inside in comparison. I'm going to give you a, a longer shot of that. So just bear with me as you can see that that one's even without the light shining on it is a lot uh, deeper purple. So we'll uh, truck over to the, uh, the mineral cabinet. Now next one down if I'm my battery is still working for me. And then again, this is another top of a uh, amethyst uh, geode, essentially. And uh, then I've got uh, another uh, smoky quartz. Nice large smoky quartz and some 
other quartz. Uh, these have inclusions in them. If I can get the light to shine on it right where it's not uh, impeding in a nice quartz sphere. Uh, this is a... I can't remember the specific name of uh, this style of, of quartz crystal, but it does have a water inclusion in it. That's a nice point there. Another uh, large quartz point, an amethyst point, and another large quartz point, and this is citrine. Now, again, the, the top of uh, one of the uh, uh, geodes, if you will. Now this is man-made citrine. So what they end up doing is taking a poor quality uh, amethyst, which would be something like that, and then they heat treat it and uh, slowly bring the temperature down so that they don't blow all the crystals apart. And the iron inside oxidizes and then turns it into citrine. Now though this the light will be very very poor on this one this is a complete geode here and uh, it, the top has just been cut so this is a miniature whole one right there so I thought that was quite unique. Uh, so I couldn't resist uh, when the opportunity arose to acquire that. Now here's a, a, another one. This is uh, three and a half kilos. And it's got a lot of uh, calcite and uh, possibly pyrite inside it. So let's give you a better shot. Nice blue uh, at the back. I like uh, down in that uh, left hand uh, center part, it looks like a couple of little eyes on a little snowman that's uh, kind of falling over, <laughs> a little, little couple of eyes, but uh, that's a nice one. There's a nice slab, I'm not sure what, uh, what uh, mineral that is, but a nice uh, slab. I do have a meteorite here, and that's, uh, I believe, from Nantan, China. It's an iron meteorite, though it is, uh, the scale is, uh, the fire scale is uh, popping off it now from just humidity and, and such like that. And there's another... Uh, slab, nice green tones to it. Now these would make great cabochons, but I like them as the raw mineral sample. And another top of a uh, amethyst fog. Now a lot of uh, these crystals are uh, uh, are all quartz. Uh, got some more spheres there. Now these ones here have inclusions in them, or phantoms. And I don't know if uh, that will actually show up well. But uh, that's a nice phantom there. This has a couple of smaller crystals growing off it, and it has uh, all kinds of uh, mineral inclusions in it. Same with uh, these. These ones, they're a lot nice uh, included. That's a uh, really nice one as well. Again, they're, I'm going to say they're all nice because I picked them out <laughs> out, of, uh, out of multiple possibilities. So uh, that one's got a, uh, a key, a very rough key in its side. Same with that one. It's got a you can see the key where another crystal is growing into it in its enclosure. 
This is a nice one. It's like, almost like a little flower. Uh, so that uh, had to come home with me. Uh, this one is uh, smoky. Nice, fairly large smoky quartz. There's nice uh, four a little with the little one growing off the side. Gives a primarily three, but four, four of them. This one uh, is a uh, phantom with inclusions. You can see the multiple bands near the the, the tip of the point, showing the uh, the various phantoms. Uh, just like uh, this one here is a phantom as well. You, get, you can see the uh, as it goes up to the point, the uh, the white phantom inside. Uh, this one is also a phantom with the uh, the green. That's just got lots of uh, inclusions in it. And uh, I believe we already looked at that one. And then that, again, that's the, the one with lots of inclusions. So we'll open the drawers, the cabinet doors up, not drawers, the cabinet door up and uh, take a look. This is a mix of everything. Uh, calico pyrite, uh, pyrite sun, uh, included or uh, phantom uh, quartz, uh, let's say more of a scepter type quartz, and other uh, different uh, ones. And of course my phone goes off, wouldn't you know it. But uh, anyway, just continuing on, just different quartz. Uh, and uh, I'm blanking on the name of uh, those pieces at the moment. I'm sorry. Uh, again, very different quartz. There's a nice, really large phantom there. Uh, more of uh, the celestite that I collected. Uh, double terminated. Uh, again, uh, copper ore. Uh, fluorite, and that's a uh, geode uh, with a kind of little, rather rude one, if you will, but uh, again, unique. This, uh, this uh, amethyst has uh, some little uh, inclusions of, uh, of a, and I don't know if the, it's concentrated iron in it, but it just gives little uh, it really uh, ref ref reflects the light as it refracts through the crystal and it really uh, makes the, the, the tips pop uh, on that. Uh, this is a, a really neat one uh, where the, uh, the crystal is actually going right in and though you can't see the point because of the fractures in it, uh, it's got multiple keys where other crystals were growing up against that one. So that's a, a unique one for me. Uh, and just other uh, various uh, amethyst. Uh, that's uh, sphalerite uh, there. And uh, I don't know if that's more of like a druzy quartz. I'm really not up on... Uh, some of my nomenclature anymore. Uh, citrine and mica there. Uh, I believe that's some, possibly uh, some galena, some gold ore, a little rose quartz scepter, some uh, citrine, garnets, uh, again the pyrites at the front. Uh, not pyrite cube, that is the natural shape of the pyrite. There's nothing uh, manufactured about that. Uh, that's uh, garnered as well. Um, so that's uh, predominantly uh, very, very clear. That's uh, pretty much gem quality. Uh, smoky quartz crystal there. That's uh, one of my ideal ones. Uh, some uh, 
amazonite, sorry, uh, amylite. Get my wording right, amylite. Uh, so that's out of Canada, Alberta, I believe. And that's, uh, it's got a coating of uh, shellac on it just to preserve the opal-like uh, shell structure of, uh, of that. And then uh, some uh, citrine. And that's uh, also a, a really nice uh, quartz cluster. And then just different uh, quartz clusters that you don't normally see. So a really dark smoky quartz cluster. Azurite. There's some uh, amethyst, a little uh, quartz scepter. That's uh, a nice little uh, grouping there. I'll zoom back a little bit so that you can see it. Uh, Herkimer diamonds there. Uh, opal from Australia. Some uh, other different quartz. Turquoise out of Arizona. Uh, tourmalines, uh, both uh, green and uh, that's watermelon there uh, because it's green on the outside and pink on the inside and some uh, very fine tourmaline and green and uh, black so uh, and I can't remember what uh, that one is without looking at the tag and there's just no way I can tell you so that uh, gives you a bit of an eye, an idea of the mineral collection that I've acquired over 30 years or so. And again, it's a real bear to, uh, it's nice to look at, but it's a real bear when you have to move of uh, packing all the, everything up so that the points don't get damaged. And then the overall weight of the, uh, the pieces to uh, move to your new home. So, give you an overall look. So I hope you enjoyed a peek at my uh, mineral collection and uh, till the, uh, the next video whenever I manage to uh, get that out. You know, I'm Dave. Bye for now.